Somebody paid $3,000 for a book that's probably only worth about $3. And the thing that's surprising to me about this is that there was dozens of people that bid this book up to $3,000. And I thought we should probably do a public service announcement just exposing what happened here because if there's that many people that are unaware of, of this thing that happens in the community from time to time, it's worth making a video about so that you don't get fooled and end up spending thousands of dollars on something that's only worth a few bucks. But before we hop into the computer, I have a very, very special announcement about this month's giveaway for the newsletter at BriceComics.com. If you head over to BriceComics.com and sign up for the newsletter, this month we're giving away an incredibly special book, Dark Hawk number one in a 9.8, signed and sketched by Swaggle Haas himself. So what happened here was I bought that collection with the 17 long boxes a while back last year from Randy and there was four copies of Dark Hawk number one in there and they all looked really nice. So I recently got my signature series facilitator license from CGC and so I held a special private signing with Swaggle Haas for those four copies of Dark Hawk number one. They all got 9.8 so there's four 9.8 signed and sketched. They're all virtually identical by Swaggle Haas. I'm keeping one. Swaggle Haas is keeping one. I'm giving away one. Swaggle Haas is giving away one. All right. So my giveaway is going to be just sign up for the newsletter at BriceComics.com and you're entered to win. Swaggle Haas, I'm not sure how he's going to manage his giveaway. So just go to his channel, subscribe to his channel if you're not already, and watch every single one of his videos for the rest of the this month from start to finish so you don't miss how he's going to manage this giveaway because there's only going to be four copies of this book. If you're a fan of Swaggle Haas, if you're a fan of Dark Hawk, I mean, what an epic collectible. This has got to be one of the coolest copies of this book out there. I think the coolest would be the 99, which Swaggle Haas also owns. We probably should have cracked that and had him sign that one too. But no, you never want to crack a 99, uh, especially when it's as rare as that. So, anyways, an incredibly awesome, cool giveaway. Thank you to Swaggle Haas for collaborating with me on that. One of the things that I think is awesome about it is if you're a fan of either one of our channels or both of our channels, it's kind of a celebration of our success. You know, I'm not trying to like, like gloat or anything like that, but the fact that I got my CGC Signature Series facilitator license was one of like the last steps with my like dealer uh, thing. It, it was one of the hardest things to get was to get, you know, certified as that for whatever reason. It might have just been, you know, red tape or something like that. But um, and then also, you know, to celebrate Swaggle Haas's success that, you know, he's risen to the level to where his signature on a character, a book that he's kind of championed is super desirable. And I know I, it is super desirable. I mean, I think people are going to get are going to go nuts over this thing. Like whoever owns it, I, it'll be I'll be curious to see what happens like whoever wins it do they turn around and sell it how much does it sell for i don't know we'll see but uh it's just a celebration and I, I hope that you can celebrate with us also to announce the giveaway winners for december congratulations to eyewitness 5281 you were the winner of the youtube giveaway and we have a brand new giveaway for this month if you subscribe comment and like you're entered to win a free slab uh, each and every month here on the youtube channel and congratulations to danny hollinger danny you won the newsletter giveaway for december at BriceComics.com. So with that said, let's hop into the computer and take a look at this very unfortunate sale. What I'm talking about here is this copy of this book, which is probably only worth a few dollars. Famous first edition Detective Comics number 27 sold for $2,902 at shopgoodwill.com. If you didn't know, Goodwill actually auctions raw books very often on their website. And I'll get more into some of the nuance behind this because I have seen raw books go for absurd prices at goodwill.com. And I think there's some really valuable lessons in, in what to avoid and, and why that's happening. Um, but when this was brought to my attention, uh, shout out to uh, my one of my Instagram followers who said, hey, check this out. Like, what's, what is this? And my first thought when I saw this and went to goodwill.com is I thought, oh my God, 
I am going to retire early. Goodwill is auctioning off a copy of Tech 27 and I'm going to get it for pennies on the dollar. It looks like a 4.0 or 5.0 copy and I'm going to sell it for millions of dollars and get to retire early. That was my first thought because look at this thing. I mean, it looks like a Tech 27. It, it looks very, very convincing. But I did a very quick Google search, okay, to figure out what, what was this. And the Google search was uh, all reprints of Tech 27. If we go over here, this is what popped up for me, bipcomics.com has this guide to Detective Comics 27 reprints. Um, and this is the original, all right? So this is a graded copy, the 1939, the original uh, Tech 27 first appearance of Batman. And it shows, this is how you can tell, the, the main giveaway here is the Batman's rope runs all the way through to the edge of the book. The edge of the structure can be seen next to the stovepipe on the right. Uh, Bob Kane's signature present at the lower right, um, and Department 995 appears in the address at the bottom of the back cover, and it has top and bottom staples. It only has two staples. Now, this is what sold at uh, Goodwill.com. So this is the famous first edition, which you can see is what they listed it as, famous first edition. So the this famous first edition is what the book is actually called. The reprint from 1974 is called famous first edition, but it is not the famous first edition. All right. So that is where some of the confusion comes from is that is what this book is. This reprint is actually called, but it's not the actual famous first edition. So this shows that it has this cover, but what often happens is that people remove that outer cover and this is what's underneath. And it looks, because it's old, I mean, it's from 74, I mean, it's not as old as 39, but when you get a copy that looks like this, it looks old, like passable. But the dead giveaway here is that the Batman's rope does not go to the corner of the page, and Department 995 is missing right here from the back page, and it has three staples. I mean, super, super easy to identify if you know what you're looking for. And then there's also this Oreo cookie reprint, which nobody ever confuses because it's a comic book size, like a, a modern comic book size instead of like a golden age size, um, and it's much thinner, and it just doesn't look right whatsoever. So, um, and there's probably more reprints than just that. So if we go over to eBay, we can see here you can buy one with the cover for $11 and 40 cents. I, I would imagine that if you rip the cover off, it's going to be worth even less than $11 and 40 cents. But this copy sold for $2,900. And the thing that was surprising to me and it went, is that the bidding went right up to the end. Here you can see that with 35 minutes left, there, it was at $2,500. And then when it ended, it was at $2,900. And there was 43 bids at this point, And there were dozens of unique bidders, dozens of people bidding this thing up. It wasn't just like two people where one guy placed a high bid and, and one guy uh, you know, bid 2,900 and, and won it for that. No, this was dozens of unique bidders bidding this thing up. And then here's the description from Goodwill, the item description. They said, famous first edition Detective Comics 27. That is the actual name of the comic book. For the condition, they said good shows some sign of wear. So this is one of the things that happens with Goodwill is obviously they're not like comic book experts. And when they use uh, terminology for the condition, they do not use comic book terminology. So this book is actually probably more like very good than good. Good would be like the 2.0 range. But what happens sometimes is people get blinded by desire. They see shows some signs of wear and it doesn't have an actual grade and they think, oh man, this thing is super high grade. I've seen like, I think it was Werewolf by Night number one. It sold for like VF prices or even near mint minus prices and it was like a VG copy because the condition all it said was shows some signs of wear and obviously because of the price that it went for somebody thought oh this thing is like an 8.0 or 9.0 and really it was like a 5.0 so um, that's one of the things that you need to watch out for for buying comics from people who aren't using comic book terminology to describe something um, so they have the actual measurements here this is the one thing that they put incorrect is they said 1946 reprint. This is not a 1946 reprint. This is a 1974 
reprint. So Goodwill misrepresented it there. And I think that this may have contributed to some of the confusion. Maybe somebody said, hey, if they misrepresented this, if they were wrong about, about this little detail, maybe they're wrong about the rest of it. Maybe it really is the original, but you can clearly deduce that it's not because of uh, Batman's thing here, the department 995 on the back and the fact that it has three staples. And then they did, you know, accurately describe and say that the exterior cover has been removed and that the department 999 is not on the back cover and has three staples. I mean, they clearly are trying to say they're trying to show exactly what this is, but it didn't stop people from bidding it up to $2,902. So two takeaways that I want to say about this unfortunate sale. Number one, don't be blinded by desire. I talk about that on this channel over and over again because of how important it is and how many different ways I see that simple little concept show up in life. Don't want something so bad that you ignore what is right in front of your face, okay? Don't be blinded by desire. This this has to do with scams and this has to do with, you know, books like this. And the, the temptation here is to bid first and research later. All right. Don't do that. Don't don't place what you think is a low ball bid. You may look at Tech 27 and think, oh, my God, I'm going to bid, uh, you know, three thousand dollars just so I can get in, just so I can place my bid and I'm in on it. Right. No. First, do your research. Right. Just a simple Google search of Detective Comics 27 reprints would have clearly shown that this is a reprint. If you read the item description, it says right there it's a reprint. Don't bid first and research later. Always do your research first. And this you know, goes for scams uh, on eBay and stuff, that very common scam where you see grails listed, no reserve auctions, and people will place a low ball bid for like an AF-15. They'll just put 5,000 in because they know it's worth like 30,000. And then they'll go and read the product description and see, oh, this is a total scam. And now you're the high bidder. So don't bid first. Always do your research first. So that's the two takeaways from this little example. Don't be blinded by desire and research before you bid. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of the video. Make sure you're subscribed to that newsletter at BriceComics.com. We have a uh, new inventory coming very soon. Uh, we also have some whatnot shows that will be scheduled out. There's a link down in the description for $15 towards your first purchase on whatnot. We're having a ton of fun over there. And there's always books in the buy now for 15 bucks. So if you're new, you can stop by and pick up a free book. Uh, you definitely want to get in on that newsletter giveaway so you can own one of the coolest Dark Hawk number ones in a 9.8 signed and sketched by Swaggle Haas. Thank you as always for sticking with me to the end of the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.